Hello, I am going to explain to you how to do automation with Ardor for effects. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to do effects with delays. This can be a little bit complex, but the uh, first thing you should do is you should, you should make sure that your delay works um, because you might think that the automation doesn't work. I suggest doing this maybe with a strong reverb and just put the wetness all the way to 100% uh, when you're practicing. But I want to do delay because that's the purpose that I used automation for. What you want to do with automation is you want to be able to have effects on certain parts of the track and the other parts of the track either have less effects or no effects at all and we're going to show you how to do that. What I have here is, a, um, is a, just a regular track, it's mono, and there's nothing special about it. We're going to arm it, and now we're going to record something. Uh, let's, let's do that now. So I'm talking, and I'm recording some things, and when I say the word delay, we're going to have delay effects there. And so I'm saying some other things, and I'm going to say the word delay. And then I'm going to give a list, and I'm going to say delay, delay 1, delay 2, delay 3, delay 4, and then I'm going to speak some more, and I'm going to say delay. Okay, we'll call that a cut. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a bus. We're going to add a bus uh, for automation. It's like it, it's a, What we'll do is we're going to make a bus, and here at the top we're going to change it to audio buses, and we're going to call it, you know, my delay bus. Okay and we'll just leave it as mono because the track is mono and we add it there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add a delay, sorry, we're going to add a delay to it and uh, here is here's the bus right here, it's a different color, you can see that and I'm going to um, I'm going to have, I have something in my in my favorites already set to have a fairly strong uh, delay uh, settings. Make sure your delay works, otherwise you'll complain that the whole thing doesn't work. So we have delay set there, and uh, so now what we do is we have a delay effect on our delay bus. This is what we're going to, we're going to do a sends and we're going to use automation for that. So in my demo voice, which we already recorded, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right click on it and I'm going to say uh, new aux send and it will give you a list of, of uh, the, the bus, the buses that you've created. And uh, so now we have a send uh, going here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, automation. So we click on A. So we have an effect, we have an effect in this track, okay? It's like a plugin, and but the plugin goes here, okay? And the advantage is I can have multiple tracks and I can apply delay effects to them with the same settings. Uh, but Probably you'll just you'll you'll just do the same thing that I did. So we we say we want to create a um, automation and processor automation, and then I have different effects. We can actually do that there, and uh, this is a, a little different. We go to my delay bus, okay, and then we have fader. Okay, so then what we have is is a screen here, and so let's let's play it. There's there's several modes. There's manual, play, write, and touch. Write means that you can actually record 
uh, how the levels are going while it's playing, which is useful, but what will happen is you'll get a lot of different points on there, and I don't necessarily like it. There's a tutorial out there already, you've all seen it, the tutorial on, on uh, Ardor 3, this is Ardor 5, and I'm running Gnome uh, 1610. This is the fader here to control the level, not of a fader like, like the sound, but how strong or intense the effects are, which gets very useful. So if we we're not, we don't need to be in record mode anymore. And uh, so let's, let's play it back and see what it sounds like. So I'm talking and I'm recording some things. And when I say the and word when delay, we're going to have delay we're effects, gonna have delay we're effects. Gonna have and so delay I'm effects. saying some other things, and I'm going to say the word delay, delay. delay. and then I'm going to give a list, and I'm going to say delay, delay one, delay, one. delay two, delay, two. delay three. three, delay four, delay four. Delay four. and then I'm going to speak some more, and I'm going to say more. Speak some more. And I'm gonna say delay. Okay, so... <laughs> You can see that I, I've missed it sometimes, but you can see that I can control what's, what's being said um, with, the, with the delay. So that's, uh, that's very useful. Um, we're going to get a little closer here. And what we're going to do is we're going um, to change from manual to play. Okay? And what this does is we're going to draw points on the screen. Okay? and we're going to use this pencil marker thing here. And this is what sort of sent me for a loop, no pun intended for the delay, but this is what, what I didn't understand and I needed help uh, with, with getting this started. So what we're going to do is we're going to have like, we just draw some points here. Um, we'll just draw a level point here. I don't know what setting it is, it's like minimal uh, effect. And then we're gonna, um, there's probably a delay point here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go here, and then I'll ra raise it up here, and then I'll uh, let it continue, and then I'll go down here. Okay, I'm just guessing. Let's, let's give it a playback and see what's going on. So I'm talking, and I'm recording some things, and when I say the word delay, delay, we're going to have delay effects there. and so I'm saying some other so I need to I need to maybe um, make this point a little a little closer so I guessed right because I usually pause after the delay and that's a good a good time to add delays oops so you can also work with the with the regular thing here too and it might be easier because you might not want to add any uh, any extra points. So we're gonna we we'll click here. And when I say the word delay, 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 we're gonna have delay effects. There. And so I'm saying. So now what I have is I have too much here. So I'm gonna bring. This level all the way down, and I could I could do that here too. Why don't we do that? Actually, we'll have like no delay at all, except for you know that one time. I'm actually doing this on a laptop, and with the touch touch screen, I should use my mouse, but. It's not plugged in. Say the word delay, delay, delay. We're going to have delay effects there. And so I'm saying some other things, and I'm going to say the word delay. Okay, so. Make it, we'll make it big and dramatic at the very end. Okay. And I'm going to say delay. So it's not perfect. It's just, you know, one, two, three thing for you. 
Um, let's, let's see what we got here. So I'm talking and I'm recording some things. And when I say the word delay, 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 we're going to have delay effects there. And so I'm saying some other things and I'm going to say the word delay, delay, delay. And then I'm going to give a list and I'm going to say delay, delay one, delay two, delay three, delay four, and then I'm going to speak some more and I'm going to say delay. Okay, so that's what we did in, in review, okay, I created a bus, okay, and in the bus we're going to have an effect there, and this is a, a sends, I think they call it a sends or, or it's a delay bus, okay, and I have my controls there, I can have, I think I can have several controls if I want, I can even automate, I can even automate um, some things here, like the specific things and I can line it up to how I want. So if I want it to speed it up, I think it was feedback, I can actually add, uh, I can actually add automation to the bus, and then sometimes I can have, you know, delay, da, 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 you know, make it very fast uh, by changing the feedback level, um, which is not part of this tutorial, you can just play with it. Once I got started, I was able to figure out things. So then what you do, so you create the, let me get rid of this here. So you create the, the delay bus, or your effect bus, any, any type of bus, and then you create your track, and then you, you add, as an effect, as a plugin, you add your bus with, with um, the delay effect there. You don't add the delay effect directly. Then what you do, all the routing is done automatically, I didn't change anything. And then you click on automation, processor automation, and you click on your delay bus. So it lists all your controls here, and you can, uh, the most common thing is to actually just work with the fader and change the volume. And there, there, is, a, there is a tutorial on that, and they, they show how to change the volumes as you're recording 